Hey everybody, it's Justin from J3 Creations, and today I'm going to be switching out the rocks to the next stage. And so we're going to open these guys up real quick and wash them off, make sure we got all the polish off, and then going to add the polish and get everything rolling again. This is basically the last stage and you can do a um, post wash with some soap if you'd like. Some people do it with borax but I prefer soap because it gives basically the same effect and it's less harmful on the environment. There's a slurry of container one. I'm gonna open up container two here. Sorry about my feet being in the shot. Didn't really anticipate that, but it's pretty much the only thing I could think of in the moment. And it seems to work just fine. So, I was reminded on my last video that your slurry should never go down the drain because it can actually clog up your um, drain pipes. That is looking pretty pretty. So we're going to dump both these in there just because they're the same stage. And we'll rinse them out, get our containers rinsed out. And then be on to the next stage here. Look at that Labradite. Polished up pretty nice. Alright, so there's our rocks. And there's our slurry, and we're going to save that. So I'm just going to kind of dump these over the water, or over the rocks. So typically, it's best to scrub them in between just to get all the stuff off of them. So I'm going to do that off camera now. But man, we got some pretty pieces of amethyst. Piece of something. It's real pretty. That piece of petrified wood. Looking really nice. that agate of sorts. It's really pretty. A little bit of blue. Some more blue. Some green. Some red. That's just some uh, river rock, I believe. Some red jasper. And a little amethyst. So, I'm going to rinse these, and we'll go on to the next stage. Okay, so, rinse my rocks out pretty nice. Everything's looking really good. Make it's polishing up. This is only five days in the polisher. Some people go a lot longer than that, but I'm just going to testing the waters a bit. This is my first time ever tumbling. I'm pretty new to rock hounding in general. So, I'm gonna load up my containers. I washed them out, made sure the lids were clean, and I made sure that none of my sludge went into the sink. 
It all went either on the pavement or into there. So, just gonna kind of load these guys up and do the final stage of polish. Make sure to fit everything in there. kind of ridiculous if you couldn't fit it in there at this point because you've come so far. And again, this is just some little loose rocks that I've been using as filler. A lot of people use plastic pellets or just regular feet gravel. I have the privilege of having these really cool little rocks laying around. And so I figure it's a good idea to polish them and maybe put them in a little container or something. And try and get them all out of there. So, kind of just make sure it all gets in there real good. At this point, you can't do much more to damage your rocks or anything. You want to make sure that your seals can make full contact around there and that your rocks aren't pushing it up at all. And so, feel free to adjust your rocks as needed. Might even be a little too full in here. That seems more probable. Maybe. My goodness. And there we go. It's like a little game of Tetris. So after your fun little game of Tetris, you got your polish and you got your spoon. And you'll add healthy tablespoon there. Probably more than I need. Add another healthy tablespoon to this one. Then add some clean water. About three-fourths of the way full. Same with this guy. And it's also very bad bad but it's not good to get polish wet so you probably should put your polish away before you start dumping water everywhere so now I'll get these on and you want to again make sure that your seals are in full contact all the way around because if you don't you'll end up with a big mess. Alright, so I haven't really been keeping my batches separate as you can tell. I kind of just put them in the containers as they fit. It's best to keep them separate and keep a log of everything that you do, especially if you're rolling for other people. It's a great idea to log what you're putting in there and when you're putting in there and when to check it. And I try and get these as tight as I can with my finger. And then tighten up the rest of the way. And there we go. Alright, so there's a good old tumbler. And I'm going to give it a spritz of WD-40. Just to help things go. Alright, so there we go, people. Gonna turn it on and let it go for like a week. Thanks for watching.